sounds like I need my child's semen. And she never responds to me ever, ever, like literally ever. If I need her, and this is time she's like, Help. I'm in the middle of makeup. You only have a certain amount of minutes without that, <laughs> that you could film things. So I love him so much. That I am getting ready to film this video. I have to run out and do some errands. And then I'm gonna tell you why I named this little guy, what we named him. You guys know his name already, right? I was gonna say put it in the comments, but you know. It's Christian John. I've gotten questions. Have you named him after a pillow? Have you named him after a movie character? Did you name him after criminal justice? Do you spell it traditionally? Where'd you get it from? Is he named after somebody? It's all the questions. If you're interested in knowing how this little guy, hi sweetheart, got his name. If you're interested, keep watching. Hello friends, let's hope this lighting isn't too terrible. I started this video three weeks ago, literally, and I'm just getting around to filming the rest of it. I actually almost didn't, but I'm like, my hair is straight, my makeup's on, let's get this over with. The little man might get a little fussy, he's doing all right right now, might make a cameo in my arms in this video. Are you, are you spitting up? You okay? Uh, he was wearing the cutest little white button down shirt with his baby jeans. Let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up if baby jeans melt your heart. Like they do it for me. While we were at the graduation, I gave him a bottle that somehow I didn't realize was leaking all over the front of his shirt. So it was wet. I took it off of him and we're about to give him a bath when this is done. But he was sleeping when he got home, he fell asleep. He just woke up. Anyway, let's get this going. So why did we name him Christian John? Where did we come up with this name? Some people thought it was from my pregnancy pillow that I named Christian Gray. That's so funny. I named it Christian Gray because, well, first of all, the pillow was gray. Second of all, every housewife, pregnant wife, whatever you want to call it, loves Christian Gray from the movie Fifty Shades of Gray. Every woman loves a pregnancy pillow when they sleep with them, at least that I'm aware of. My sister actually hates it, but at the time, that's what I was aware of. Everybody wants Christian Gray in their bed. Every husband hates Christian Gray. I was just being silly because I am a dork like that. We had already picked out the name Christian by then, but it had nothing to do with the baby's name. I actually kind of got weirded out because Adam's like, you're sleeping with Christian and I'd be like, which one? This Christian was in my belly and I was sleeping with Christian Gray in my pillow. So then other people thought that Christian came from the movie character Christian Grey because they thought that I was obsessed with like Fifty Shades of Grey because of my pregnancy pillow. I kept referring to Christian Grey and if they didn't understand or see that video or those couple of videos, that was so Long Island, or those couple of videos, yes, that's where I'm originally from in case you didn't know. I say coffee, I say off, but most of my life I was in Jersey. Does this matter? No, I'm so lost in a tangent. This is what happens when you get stuck in the house, sitting on the couch feeding a baby for two months. You just wanna talk. When you open your mouth, it all just lit up, comes out. God bless you. God bless you, little. God bless you, sweet boy. So for people that didn't see those other videos, when I started talking about Christian Grey, they thought I was obsessed with the movie. No, I've seen it. It was all right. I mean, I didn't read the books. I'm not one of those people that like had to watch it over and over and over on repeat. It was all right. Like I thought it was fine. And even if I did, I don't think Adam would really go for that. Who I did name my baby after was my older sister. Her name is Christina. So here's what happened. When I first found out I was pregnant, I got a call from my sister. This is crazy. I didn't tell anyone I was pregnant. Adam was only home for six weeks. I was debating if I was gonna move to Las Vegas permanently. I didn't tell my family even that I was leaving New Jersey. All of my stuff was still at my dad's house. When Adam was awarded his release from his life sentence, we didn't have time for, to prepare for this. Although he was incarcerated for 20 years, when it came down to it, it all happened so fast. He prepared a lot for coming home. I couldn't prepare so much for him coming home. I couldn't get a house. I couldn't rent a space. I couldn't do anything because we didn't know when or even honestly, if it was going to happen. In the midst of all of this, I find out I'm pregnant. And my sister calls me a couple days after I take my test and she's like, this is the craziest thing. I had a dream, you're pregnant. And I was like, Ooh. it just so happened to be on speaker. And Adam's like, tell her, tell her. so I was like, well, and she's like, you're pregnant. And I was like, Meh. And she's like, are you upset? Like, do you not want to be? And I said, well, it's kind of soon. We're in our honeymoon phase, trying to feel each other out, like living together. I mean, everything was perfect. It's still perfect. We were enjoying everything. But I was like, you know, this is throwing a wrench into it. 
were not stable. I didn't have a job in Vegas. He was just trying to figure out what he was gonna do as far as the starting work, all of this stuff. It just, it didn't feel like the time was right. It was too late, but it didn't feel like the time was right. She gave me the most amazing big sister pep talk. The next day, I get a text from her. She was checking up on me, making sure I was feeling okay. And she said, you know, I didn't sleep a wink last night. I was up all night naming your baby. My sister is one of those people, like she was born to be a mom. She was born to be a wife. That's all she ever wanted to do. She's a first grade teacher, a reading specialist, has been forever. Let me grab him. The star of the show wanted to be on the video. Here we go, he's gonna finish it with me. So my sister lived to be a mommy, lived to be a wife. That was her biggest aspiration and her dream growing up. She was one of those kids that would like write her name with the boy she liked over and over and over again on her notebook when she was young. She would dream about her wedding since she was eight years old. So she is obsessed with naming babies. She has three children with the most beautiful names and she's also helped friends, relatives, like I think at this point, 10 babies names. She's really good at it. Mind you, she's a reading specialist. This is important by the way, this has to do with his name. She has a really good grasp on letters and vowels in the English language and how they work together. And uh, what's that? What is that? What am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Alliteration. So the next day she calls me and she's like, I didn't sleep all night. I was naming your baby. So I was like, oh yeah, what are we naming my baby? And she rattled off like 25 girls names. Now, originally Adam and I thought we wanted a girl. We could not be happier that we had a boy from the minute we got our genetic test results at 10 weeks. It, we were just like ecstatic. But originally we thought we wanted a girl. We thought we were having a girl. So that was great. But you know, they say mom's intuition. It's so weird because I said back to her, but what if it's a boy? Like you didn't give me any boys names. And she's like, well, boys names are so hard. But what about, and I will never forget, Adam and I were on a walk. We were right down the street, right by this really cool park going up this hill. And she goes, what about Christian? And we were like, ooh, I like Christian. First she said Chris Christopher, and then she said Christian. Just so happens her name's Christina, and Christina and Christian are just the reverse. The last two letters are reversed. It's the same name, which is amazing, because I love my sister, and she's such a good first child, such a good older sister, like, like the eldest child. So why not name my baby after her? But that's not why she was saying it. And I was like, Christian Clausen sounds incredible it sounds like he's destined to be a professional athlete an actor a, with something christian clausen that's just like tv adam and i talked about it i'm like do you like it he was like i do he's so cute because if you guys watch our baby names we like but we're not using he like literally sat there and as i told him the name he would think about it and ponder it and that's adam like he's like hold on i have to, I have to like genuinely think about this if you ask him how are you or how was your day most people will just automatically respond good or it sucked but he will actually sit there for a second and think about it before he responds to you because he really wants to check in with himself. It's a beautiful quality. I wish I was more like that. I need to start adopting that and I wish more people were like that because it's it, it makes you really genuine and authentic. So I asked him, what do you think about it? And he thought about it, he's like, let me chew on it for a second. And he's like, I really do like it. So we said back to Christina, we're like, oh my gosh, we really like the name. And she goes, yeah, and if you come up with, first she said Christian Blake which I wasn't a fan. Christian Blake Clausen is beautiful. It just wasn't, I didn't like it. So she said, but if you come up with a J middle name, you can call him CJ. And Adam fell in love with it. At first I was like, mm, and then I was like, that's actually really cute. It took two seconds and I was like, J name, John. N. But when I went back to Christina, she's like, you need the H's in both the first name and the last name to make it look right, especially Christian, John, Clausen. Oh, by the way, Christian is spelled traditionally in the era of very, very unique baby names and unique spellings. I would always get, what are you naming the baby? And then people always go, oh, that's really traditional. And then the next thing they would ask is, is it spelled traditionally? Which actually I just saw on YouTube, a YouTuber, her, her name is Christian, but the K-R-Y-S-T, I-A-N or something like that. And she pronounces it Christian. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. And I was like, well, too late to use that for a girl because we have our perfect little boy with his perfect little name, but it's Christian spelled traditionally C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. And then we named him after John, that's J-O-N, but 
our Christian John is J-O-H-N because if you see it right now, and I'll put it on the screen right now, it just looks better. And that's where I was telling you my sister is that reading specialist and she's very into alliteration. So she liked the CC, Christian Clausen. She was also CC before she got married. She's Aunt CC and he's her little CC and that's their little thing for one another or probably will be in the future. It does look better with the H's and then Clausen at the end. That's where we got CJ. Some people thought that it was because the terminology criminal justice or criminal justice reform will very often be referred to as CJ or CJR. And you will very frequently, if you go through my posts in the past, my videos in the past, frequently see us saying before baby, before Adam was even awarded his release, we didn't know he was coming home. You would see me saying CJ referring to criminal justice, which I didn't even realize until months after we picked the name. And then I was like, no, he's not named after it, but that's kind of cool. Actually, that's really cool because criminal justice is something that Adam and I are, so, and criminal justice reform is something that we're so passionate about and have always been. And it's just a coincidence, but not such a coincidence. The initials that we call our little dude, our first little prince, are the same initials as criminal justice. What do you think, bud? Do you like your name? And it's really funny because I call him every version of CJ. So when my two youngest sisters, hi, were young, they used to be obsessed with TJ Maxx. I mean, like, who isn't? But they would always call it Tej, like TJ Tej, and they would be like, Tej the Jeej, how much did you spend at Tej today? So when we first decided we were naming him CJ, I started referring to him as Siege. And so Adam's mom's like, stop calling him that. It's so weird. So we say Siege, CJ, and then I'll like, I made up this little song, CJC, you're the boy for me, CJC, the only boy for me. Yay! And a lot of times I'll call him CJC. What else? Oh, I'll call him Little C. You guys know I've called him Little C for ages. I still do. And sometimes I call him C-Man. And then I realized one day, as I referred to him as C-Man, it sounds like I named my child C-Man. So we have to put a stop to that. Here's another funny. Every time I'm in a house alone with him, I'll be like, oh, C, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm coming, C, don't cry, C. And Siri wants to respond to me. She never responds to me ever, ever, like literally ever. If I need her, and this is the time she's like, how can I help you? And I'm like, I wasn't talking to you, Siri. And then she's like, oh, okay. Or whatever Siri says. She doesn't usually say, oh, okay. She's like, okay. And I'm like, really, really? Anyhow, I don't know how this turned into a 17 minute video. That got real long. I thought I was gonna have to figure out how to waste time just to get this video to eight minutes, but no, because this is me and we babble. But there's the long winded version of how this little beauty, beauty is probably more for a girl, breastfeeding struggles. We're gonna do a whole video about that. Today's like the, the closest me, to me debating if I'm gonna stop and like being close and I don't want to. I literally got in the car before and asked for a sign from heaven and the universe and God if I should keep going or not because it's been rough. It's been a struggle. Anyhow, I don't know how I got here. Why am I here? I can't remember why I got here because we slept maybe three out of the eight hours we planned to sleep last night. Mm. Give us a thumbs up for this handsome little face. I would say I'm not usually this babbly, but let's be for real. I am. All right, I need to go eat dinner, get this little guy a bath, get him ready for bed, wait for Adam to get home. He's working late tonight. It's Friday, and that's why I decided to come on and finish this. I have my nursing bra hanging out. That's hot. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Mwah.